Good morning, everybody. So, this is Kathy, and I'm really happy to welcome you to the beginning of your experience with the um, our gift to you, this free motherland call and the motherland practice which we'll talk about more tonight is a way of finding a new relationship with not only the word mother but also the feeling of what it's like to be mothered what if you are a mother what that experience is or even just inside of our bodies we have that lineage, we have the connection, even if we never have a child, we have that connection to uh, daughters, even in a conceptual form out in the world, and we hold inside of us our mothers, our grandmothers, our great-grandmothers, our great-great-grandmothers, and and um, that's something that one of the many things that men don't have in their body, um, they do have that um, you know, that history, those tapes, but it's not quite the same. It's the life force um, inside of us that, that holds that information. And um, at this time, on the planet, with all the things you're listening to and reading, um, you know, it's a time when we can actually restore, repair, and um, and kind of put away um, in a beautiful ceremonial ritual fashion some of the karmic patterns that we've been holding um, it for our families and um, for our future selves. And so I really look forward with Jules. Um, Jules will be on the call tonight and leading a meditation then. So anyway, just get yourself comfortable and um, make sure just for the time being either be sitting on the floor or have your feet on the floor so you have that connection to the earth and I want you to begin breathing through your nose nice and slow longer and slower than you would normally feeling the places where your body comes to rest on the earth that connection you might want to imagine a um, connection from your tailbone deep 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 into the center of the earth it's really amazing thing about the earth is that she is very yin and receptive you know that 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 matter of earth but at her core she's fire so even the earth holds that balance of the masculine and feminine and that's what we as women are here at this time to heal that's why we need to heal Keep breathing through your nose while I'm speaking. That's why we really need to heal ourselves in connection to our own femininity so that we can create the fabric to bring that balance in. You know, it's really up to us. So if you can imagine through that receptive earth that's holding you, that connection from your tailbone deep, deep, deep into the center of the earth to that fire. And then lengthen your spine and reach your uh, crown chakra, the top of your head, that beautiful soft spot that you see on babies where you see the heartbeat. Reach that up into the sky. And so here we have the connection to the stars, to the air and fire that are the stars, coming in that divinity through your heart, your crown chakra, through the water vessel of your body, your beautiful body as a woman, your water and earth vessel, so the water and also the matter of your body, and then going down, 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 and rooting into the fire that is like the source of life. All these elements are the source of life in, in us in this moment, holding the water, the fire, the air, the earth. Keep breathing through your nose. So I want you to feel what it feels like to be held. Beneath you is the, the earth. And for all of what we know as our, um, as, uh, our difficulties, the difficulties we see every day, difficulties we feel for our children, the difficulties we feel caring, perhaps we have elderly parents, the other people around us, the difficulties in our own life right now. So much is at stake. 
And there's so much worry about the earth. But for in this moment with your breath, I want you to feel this earth holding you no matter what. She will not leave you. And I want you to imagine this point above your crown chakra. And that as you exhale, this, this just like shower, it's just like a beautiful energetic shower washing a few layers. We can pray for a few layers of stress, concern, worry, anxiety fear of the future, and just washing that over you. Just the way you feel like on a really hot day when you've been, you know, just sweating and you take that shower and you feel that cool air and you feel that, feel that water and feel it just washing over you, that energetic shower and releasing into the earth and the earth joyfully removing that for you. Just taking that, alchemically processing that, into food, turning that around, growing the plants, feeding clean water into the earth, into the atmosphere, the earth transforming, holding you, unconditionally loving you. So just keep feeling that point above your crown chakra, feeling it wash over you and feeling it release into the earth and her just blessing you, telling you it's going to be all right, taking any of that energy for you. No questions asked. You don't need to fix it. You don't need to make it perfect. You can just let it go. And then open your eyes into the new day. So take just a couple of deep breaths with your eyes open, just looking around your apartment or maybe you're outside or maybe you're on the subway and just looking around and looking at the confirmations of life the beauty. And just for this moment, as you're listening to this meditation, take any judgment out. If, if you are looking at things that maybe your apartment is chaotic or not the way you like it, or maybe there's someone sitting in front of you on the subway that is, um, you know, maybe set something off in you, take the good and the bad out of that for this moment and just see life, and just see love wherever, and just see visions of this, not your mother maybe, but of this mother of the earth, of that love, that person who, that person, that entity that just took all of that stress away, to see everything around you as a confirmation of that. Try it. Just try it. I love you. I'm here as a daughter. I'm praying as best I can while speaking to feel that as well. I'm here with you. I want to ask you just for a moment to close your eyes one more time. And now make sure you have a journal, a pen. This is just, you know, a very brief writing exercise so that we all start the call together tonight. And Jules and I will be doing this as well. I just want you to choose the first location that you love, that comes to mind, a place where you feel really happy, your happy place. It can be a a building, it can be a room, it can be a natural location. Just let that, that first place come to you. And I want you to stand there or sit, whatever is most comfortable, put your hand on your heart and close your eyes and bring yourself fully into that room. And before you open your eyes... I want you to remember that feeling of being held in our meditation. Feel your hand on your heart. Maybe put your hand on your cheek. Put your hand on your forehead. Bless yourself. And now I want you to open your eyes in that location, in your imagination, in your mind's eye. And I want you to see your vision of the Divine Mother. The Mother of all that is maybe Mother Earth. 
Whatever that cost you, you may not have that vision yet. It doesn't matter. Just take this and just make a few notes to yourself. Describe her. If you want to write down some words you have for her. Just take that, you know, a few minutes there. If you want to pause this tape, if a lot comes to you, you can just pause the recording here. But just for time's sake now, I want you to close your eyes again. Put your hand on your heart. Put your hand on your cheek. And now bring your hand to your belly. I really want you to really feel your hand there. Feel that connection from your tailbone into the center of the earth. And when you open your eyes in your beautiful location where all is possible, I want you to see your mother next to you. And I'm really sorry for any of you where that may not be that comfortable, but I just want you to see her. You feel free to also invite your grandmother or your great-grandmother or anybody else that is in that lineage, but in your blood lineage of motherhood. And I want you to take a few moments to just write what she looks like, where she is in her life, you know, if she's passed or it's a memory. And feel free to say whatever you want to your mother. But part of my prayer for you right now, sitting here in my beautiful apartment, looking out at the rain, is to invite her to come with you into this practice. Just as a visitor, she can have her own experience as a daughter. Not bringing her into dialogue with her necessarily, just inviting her energetically to receive him some of the healing that you're going to have here. And if this is something that is brings up um, any resentments or any like anxiety or you feel a constriction, just write that down too. It's a beginning. You, this is all about you. I'm completely showering you with love right now. And I look forward to talking to everybody tonight. Thank you so, so much for believing in us and for showing up. We are really thrilled.